all, welcome back to the channel. It is Mr. Extra from Team Extra. I've been a little behind on these, so sorry I'm catching up for it. I've been working a lot. I am playing Adventure Sprite on the left. My opponent is playing Pearly on the right. So I got life points up. Let's run it. This was uh, just Friday. We're going to do it right, get the token, do the Faithful play, right? So we got Faithful on the field. We're going to special the Water Temple from hand because we have token. And we go to grab Draco back. Gonna do Faithful, search for Griffin, fish Draco back, equip it to token, right? Special Griffin, normal swap, special Jet, and then we're just gonna go off to the races here, right? We're gonna grab Starter. And then we are going to go Sprint, Sprint, Dump Angler, Beaver, Beaver, let's get it. Beaves are out, the beaver is out. Gonna make gigantic, gigantic effects. We're going to slap blue on the board. Blue's gonna grab carrot as well while we're at it. You know, because we're already in the deck anyways. We're gonna make gin buster, so we have a negate, we got a carrot negate, that, and set some cards and then pass turn. And then Dark Ruler, because you know, that's a card. It is what it is. Uh, Black Pearly, don't know the name. It's like Pearly Lily Lily. Grab Street. A Street is the field spell that gives them target protection, so to speak. Right? Especially some ones. Uh, he puts out the quicks. Well, the uh, the actual spell. And then I'm gonna carry it, negate and send just to get a body off field. He's gonna go ahead and use the, the pearly spell. It's the uh, continuous one that lets him grab ones, and then you just pick one, so they should grab three. We're gonna double cross the black one, and we're gonna put on the gigantic. So there's the go. There goes his normal summon, right? So he's gonna go. Uh, I want to say that's sleepy memory. It's a common one. I'm going to chain starter, and then I'm going to throw a red on board to try to deal with what he's putting out. Pearly, and I'm going to negate it. I should have negated and destroyed here, but you know, whatever. I negate it red, but I leave it on the board. So he's gonna go ahead and clump. I'm gonna go sprint effect, but you know, I'm with Dark Ruler. So he's just gonna do a clump effect right here, and he's just gonna stack more into it. Then he's gonna go pump effect. And he's just gonna throw out another white one. So he did the, another one of the spells, the special. I wanna say it's a delicious memory. Special, he's doing white effects. I don't think he hits anything on that. He's got a pump that has a stupid amount of material already. Pump effects, and take one of my cards, make it material. Like, this is disgusting, personally, in my opinion. And he's just gonna make an eight materials used casually. So, you know, yeah. Alright. So I skip it up because I'm not out playing an eight material zoo with a top deck. Which, by the way, guys, my uh, my top deck was Ash, right? It's it was actually like Ash Blossom. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna side. We're gonna go game two. The deck's disgusting. I don't know why Konami makes like decks like this, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. Plus, I was wanting this match against uh, my opponent's name is Paul against him anyways. I just wish I could have seen side cards for this personally. So we're gonna side in some stuff, some goodies. That and, you know, outside of Dark Ruler, if I didn't get Dark Ruler, I, I would have been okay. Like, 100%. I would have probably been able to deal with it fine, but Dark Ruler is a fucking card still, guys. So, watch out for that shit. It's good to use, but when you're playing Sprite, you literally have to either try to play around it or you don't. There's no way to play around it. You undercommit a board, and then they're not going to Dark Ruler because it's not good enough to hit it with it. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and special Griffin because I control the monster. I'll start that. Then we're gonna go Beaver, Beaver effect because, you know, we're kind of testing the waters here. We're feeling it, feeling it a little. Put out an angler. Right now we're rocking one sprint, unfortunately. Uh, gigantic, gigantic effect. And the blue, blue effect. Grab carrot. I actually hate that sprite has no way to play around Dark Ruler. It's actually just the biggest downside about that deck. Jet. 
jet grabs, double crawl. So we have some type of interaction on this turn, so to speak. Now if you're getting the new probably talk I get got help Dark Ruler game one, you can tell that I'm a little skittish about how I want to put my board out. Because it's either undercommit or overcommit here. So I'm over here thinking like, do I want to just gas it all out? Or kind of like, leave follow up. Angler, angler effects, beaver beaver. Right? And then we're going to put into an IP. We're basically trying to set up for Avermax here, so to speak. And then we're going to put a gym buster. We're going to set card, throw out carrot, pass, and then leave two cards in hand. So we've got residual follow up. And Dark Ruler again. Yeah, so none of it mattered. And then he's going to go ahead and Kaiju, Gem Buster, which didn't matter even though he. Even, even though he Dark Ruler me, he just didn't. He, so he's going to go Pearly. And then he's going to chain one of his spells. I'm going to try to get a carrot just to get a body off for it because I'm trying to clear my spot through his Double Cross. And he's using the black one now, too. Black one's gonna let him add. He adds a. Uh, he added the continuous spell, I believe. It's either that or street. So I double crossed the black one away. I should have double crossed the white one personally. My own fault. Puts out the other one. Uses the uh, continuous spell to just pick three of the same things. So pretty much just get whatever the fuck he wants. He's got delicious memory under it. He goes plump. And he just got start taking stuff from me at this point because you know this deck is disgusting all right so he's just gonna keep on going and then the fact that this white pearly my guy is not once per turn is just downright disgusting because like i've seen people put all three of them on, all three of the white ones on the field all right use it use all three of them put them back and then put them on the field again like it's just it's, it's madness it's actual madness it makes no sense like, Konami just literally says, hey, we're just gonna run it. We're just gonna run people's pockets at this point. You want this Diet Zodiac number two? And that's, that's what this is. It is just Diet Zodiac. Anyways, so he's uh, just stacking up this plump. I mean, you can probably guess the follow up from, you know, game one getting hit with an 8 tier Zeus. No one's gonna play around that. It doesn't matter. Unless you just Kaiju it, which I wasn't playing with Kaijus this, this tournament. Make Sonor an 8 spin, no not 8 spin, a 5 spin Nor. He's gonna attack, attack. I'm over here like wishing I see my D barrier that I sided in, that I sided in D barriers and stuff game too. And yeah, that's it. I scooped, I showed him that I was gonna try to Reaper his stuff, but it just didn't matter. It was just not gonna happen, guys. Like, the deck's too strong at the moment.